What's up guys, Theon here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a feature that is not on any Android device. It's coming to iOS 13 and this is FaceTime Attention Awareness. I'd like to talk to you guys about this. Before I get into the video, I'd just like to list the devices that will be supporting this right now. Those devices include the iPhone XS, the iPhone XS Max, as well as the iPhone XR. So all the iPhones released in 2018 will be able to support this feature. Now, as for what this feature does is, let's say you're in a FaceTime call with someone and you look away from the screen. Your phone will use augmented reality to create create a secondary image of yourself which will make it look like you're looking at the screen when you're really not. And yes, you will be able to disable this or re-enable it inside of FaceTime settings. I was unable to reproduce this feature but other people on Twitter were able to demonstrate it working on their iPhone as you guys can see in this demonstration here by Will Sigmund on Twitter. This feature was found in iOS 13 beta 3. I forgot to talk about it in yesterday's video. It's pretty interesting. It's very futuristic in my opinion. It's not available on the iPhone 10. It's not available on the iPhone 8. It's not available on any device that supports augmented reality. I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure it might be coming soon. It's not using the true depth camera system on the iPhone 10s, 10s Max, or the iPhone 10 It's just using augmented reality, which shows virtual objects on real backgrounds. I will leave a link down below to the user on Twitter if you guys want to go ahead and check this out for yourself. Once again, this is not available on the iPhone 10 or the iPhone 8. It's only available in the iPhone 10, 10s, or 10s Max. Come to think of it, there might be a reason why it's not available on those older iPhones. There was a report that came out when iOS 13 was in its first beta saying that ARKit 3.0 was only going to be available on devices with the A12 series chip. So that might play a factor in why these older iPhones are unable to access this feature. I could be wrong because the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10 from 2017 have the A11 chip and they really aren't that old. They're still pretty fast and by pretty fast I mean blazing fast. What do you guys think about this feature? Let me know your opinions down in the comment section below. Alright guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know with a like or dislike. Although I don't really care because I barely even check the analytics for these videos. If you guys do enjoy the content I post on this channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for all things Apple. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I've been Tian Official. Peace out guys.